make sure that everything is running correctly, which I think I think it is. Um, so yeah, welcome, welcome back to X Plane Eleven, and today we're going to debrief my flight from yesterday, which was a lot of air work, and I learned a lot about the the Piper. Um, this is the Archer. This is the Just Flight Piper Archer, which I've been using with the gear down to simulate the. Or so, sorry, this is an Aero retractable gear uh, constant speed prop, which I've been leaving in full forward and gear down to simulate the Archer that I fly. So the performance, the climb out, the cruise is a little bit different on this. You've got a uh, you know three bladed prop. You've got more horsepower. Um, you know, with the gear down, it slows it down a lot, but it's still, um, it still has more power, I believe, than the plane that I fly. However, the the body, the airframe is pretty much identical, and there's some things that, that this plane um, does not do uh, that the, the real plane does, and, you know, the things that the real plane does that this does not do. So I'm going to um, go through the flight that I did yesterday, and once once I'm up in the air and in the practice area, kind of go through some of the things that that I learned about the plane and about maneuvers. And then I'm going to come back to John Wayne and show you what the what the just flight arrow does when I do an approach exactly like I do in the real world and show you how off it is um, in one critical area. Again, sorry for the the light coming through and hitting me in the face. Okay, where is my checklist? I took actually a picture of the checklist I use in the cockpit so I can reference that in the sim and just get used to looking at the the actual checklist. Okay, Pilot Edge has been using a different frequency for clearance, so I'm going to see if I can if they actually have both frequencies on here. That would be that would be nice. Okay, so we can go over the exterior summary really quick, and I'll just kind of go down what we checked. So we got fuel quantity, fuel quality. We checked both of those. Caps, drains, and vents were checked. Engine, oil, and belt were checked. Uh, the prop and air intake were checked. The exhaust system was checked. The surfaces and controls, those were all checked. Pedo and static ports looked good. Gears, tires, and brakes all looked good. Antennas were in good shape. Tires, chocks, and tow bar looked good. And the baggage door was locked and secure. So that is pretty much all the exterior summary um, checklist. So that's relatively straightforward. So once you're in the interior of the plane, um, you'd have the flaps um, would be down for the check. So you'd be able to check all of the uh, attachment points there. So when you get in here, um, I sit in this seat here and then lower the flaps and then scoot over because it's kind of hard to work your way over the the bar there. It, it acts just like a big E-brake. Um, just kind of a lack, latching mechanism. So put that down. Passengers load and briefed. Hobbs and tack time are checked. Uh, I don't think... I think this plane keeps track of that in real time. There's the... There's the Hobbs meter. So that says 7.3. I think that's accurate. And the tack time is right down there. That also says 7.3. So... That's whatever. Okay. Fuel proper tanks. So that's a good one to do first. Fuel, put that on to the left tank to begin with. And circuit breakers check. Those all look good. Those are in. Air conditioners all turned off. Alternate air is checked in the off. And that should be ELT is armed. This doesn't have the same uh, configuration of the ELT, and that is not um, 
It is. It's right here in the plane I fly, and it's not there anymore. Or it's not there in this one, so we don't really have to worry about that anyway. Uh, brake pedals test. So that's fine. We're not using toe brakes. Okay, move on. Okay, avionics off, autopilots off, AC off, carb heat off. This is uh, injected. Throttle, slight open, brake set, prop clear, master on, beacon on. So there's master, whoops, master on and beacon on. Put that in full forward. And props, clear, master, beacon, fuel pump on. Mixture full rich. Prime is required, don't need it on this one. And start it. Starts right up. All right. Or six seven shot contact so call approach one three four point two. And forgot about that. Okay, oil pressure looks good. Fuel pumps, turn that off. Make sure you have pressure good. Contact Las Vegas approach, 125.9. Lowers, but it's still in the green, so that's fine. Um, oil pressure, fuel pumps off. Okay, and then we'll get lights. Okay. And let's get the weather real quick. Diplo level 48, Las Vegas approach, five present, heading to the runway 26 left, localizer, just maintain 8,000. I will check that out. Left, Las Vegas, altimeter 29 or 83, advise you of weather. There's Santa Ana. Okay, winds 210 at 9, visibility 10, uh, we don't, sky uh, clear. We don't do those unless they're the long-term ones. If it's closed, like, for 14, something that six. happened today, uh, uh, real-time, we don't, we don't model those. There's that in there. And we've got information Delta. Delta is. Sorry, 9167 Charlie Snow Cup, approach Burbank out, Sibiter 29905. Yeah. 12185. Okay, let's get our. Departure information right now. Joey Clearance Archer 444 Foxtrot Golf with VFR departure request. The, are they going to do they use this frequency? It's published. They should. Archer 444 Foxtrot Golf. Good. Looking for the El Toro departure to the practice area to the uh, south of El Toro. Four Fox Golf, and we've got information Delta on board. Archer Four Fox Shark Golf, Roger on departure flight 080, maintain VFR right below 3000. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 2347. Departure heading 080, out of below 3000. Departure frequency 128.1, and squawking 2347, Four Fox Golf. Yuma Tower, 5-5 five, five for Whiskey, long short, 2-6. Confirmation about that one. Boeing 5-9 uh, and 5-4 five, Whiskey, Yuma Tower, running 2-6, good for takeoff. 2-6, good for take, Boeing 5-9 five, and five, for Whiskey. Black belt. <laughs> go no go for launch. We go fly. <laughs> go fly. I love that. Uh, and Joe and Clarence, want to make sure you copied on that readback for Fox Golf. For Fox, I go from the readback, correct. Roger that. Going to ground for Fox Golf. Okay, so that was okay. And we're going to go to one, two, zero, eight. Get that selected, and we'll make sure we'll have one, two, 
nine nine or one one nine nine selected because that's two zero left. Okay. Houston, we are a go for launch. Yeah, it, it really struck me on this flight how exact the markings were on this um, scenery pack for John Wayne. It is identical. There's there's one little spot out here. Yeah, Air 67 Charlie, you're in Charlie airspace. You're going to uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to do it. Just uh, I'll switch you here shortly. Identical. Yeah, just just right here, this little T right here. It's just identical. And uh, set and maintain 5,000 here from 12 o'clock and uh, 90 miles. Yeah, blow up 48, right turn, right heading 0, 7, 0, 17, 5, Enemy ground, arrow 755 Alpha Juliet, ready to attack you with Alpha. Got another arrow. Arrow 755 Alpha Juliet, enemy ground, where you parked. I'm at the tower right at the end of Q, Quebec. Arrow 5 Alpha Juliet, runway 30, taxi via Alpha. 30 via Alpha for 5 Alpha Juliet, thank you. Cessna 67 Charlie Conte Van Nuys Tower, 119.3. Charlie Ground, Archer 444, Foxtrot Golf at Dove Street uh, for taxi to midfield run up with information Delta. Uh, Foxtrot Golf, uh, Charlie Ground, taxi midfield run up via Alpha Hotel. Alpha Hotel midfield run up for Fox Golf. Got a little busyness on the frequencies tonight. And what may have caused that? Boeing 545, uh, Boeing 594 Whiskey Human departure rate of contact, climate team 12,000. That was weird. One, two, twelve. Pressures are good. Amps are good, feels good. Thin Ice Tower, Twin Star 9167 Charlie with you, 7 to the southeast. Yeah, that was. My star nine one six seven Charlie Van Nuys Tower enter a was left and downwind runway one six left. Clear to land. <laughs> Black belt. Left downwind one um, six left. Clear to land. Thank I you. mean, a any airplane does, but I'm a, uh, I'm an Alpha Romeo guy, so those, those are my jam. Which um, which bank angle meter thing are you talking about, Black Belt? Okay, coming up on the runner. Papa, we see clear Imperial. Now he gave us hotel, but we're just gonna turn off early here because you actually wouldn't take hotel to get here. Okay. Yep, second row down the left. That's actually what we're going to talk about today, uh, Black Belt. So I will um, I will get to that in a minute here. Uh, let's get... Okay, break set. Trim, you turning flight on controls. Uh, 2570 zero, zero, to maintain 5,000. See now your lights. I'm not sure. You're back on the localizer at 4,000. Okay. Uh, what are your attention to? 2000, go left, nice drop, both, right, good drop. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. When you, when you told to fly heading, you fly the heading. JetBlue 1148, do you have the airport? <laughs> JetBlue 1148, clear vision approach, runway 26 left. When you're when you giving a head and fly, head, fly, fly the heading, okay. contact tower 119.9. All right, so that looks good. Everything else. Looks great. Jeremy Grant, Archer 444, Foxtrot Golf, finish at midfield run up. Archer 4, Foxtrot Golf, runway 20 left, taxi via uh, Hotel Kilo. Correction, Charlie Kilo. 
Two zero left via Charlie Kilo for Fox Golf. Okay. Correction, two six left. Okay, so the 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 biggest thing that that I really focused on on this flight and and realized I did not have a good grasp on is how much right General rudder you need tower, almost at at all time two six left on, land on this plane. Um, it just all of the left turning tendencies, and it's something that the the sim does not really. Uh, it doesn't really give you a good indication of those left turning tendencies. I mean, it does on the ground a lot, and it doesn't really, you know, the the ground physics on X plane aren't great, so it it feels really clunky. But that left turning tendency um, is really amplified once you rotate, and that's something that in the sim it doesn't really translate over that well from what sure, I've so, uh, experienced. So I'll kind of show you here what um, what happened on my takeoff roll. Let's go 9 in here and then 128.1 is a little bit different than the real world frequency. Get uh, 124.1 um, Okay, so go mixtures full, pumps on, flaps are down, engines all in the green, heading bug is set, altimeter is set, and everything looks good. Las Vegas clear, Southwest forty two thirty four FR Denver Yankee. Wait for this guy to. Southwest point two thirty four, Las Vegas, near the Denver Airport, trailer nine departure deck three transition. That's not going to be a six clock four six four. So our VY is seventy six knots. So I'm going to really focus on that. Rotation is at sixty, and then you know, so sixty Boy, and seventy five. Altitude was one two thousand. What are you, uh, what are you looking two, for? Our two speeds that we got to look out for. You can have power if you like it. Just let me know. John Wayne Tower, Archer 444, Fox Trickle, holding short, 2-0 left at Kilo with Delta. Archer 444, Fox Trickle, stand by. Or 67 Charlie, runway 16 left, clear to land. This is the worst tail number one ever. 16 left, clear to land, 67 Charlie. Or 75 Alpha Juliet, contact departure. Go to departure, on Alpha Juliet. Subs 4234, did you just copy clearance? Affirmative. Uh, squ uh, transponder 4642, uh, rest of uh, clearance without doubts uh, for Southwest 4234. Ventura is busy. Say that again? Uh, we copied everything and the squawk is 4642 uh, for uh, Southwest 4234. Southwest 4234, read back correct. What's up, Dean? Standing by. Five, five, Alpha Juliet, Santa, Santa Barbara departure, radar contact, climb maintain 9,000, correction, climb maintain 8,000. Yeah, 1995, same Mach number. And yeah, 1995, maintain Mach 0.73 for space. Any minute now, what do we say? Pretty plain. Las Vegas ground jet blue eleven forty eight with you Alpha Seven and Alpha to the gates. Air four 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 Fox Shark Golf Channel Tower Room two zero left at Kilo Clipper takeoff. Clipper takeoff, four Fox Golf, two zero left. Okay. So here I will mimic what I did even though it was it was wrong. So check this out. So you roll onto the runway General here. 48, cross runway 26 right Alpha 7 and uh, some power. contact ground one two. Everything's in the green. Go full power. You need a lot of right Vin rudder to stay on center line, right? A lot of right rudder. 
we're, we're pretty much coordinated now. So there's rotation speed, and you let go of the left rudder, the right rudder, and that's what it does. And it did it with a crosswind, so we were like that. So now we got to just climb out at VY, which is 75. Ground jet blue 1148 with you crossing uh, 277 right. 75 uh, right there. There's 67 Charlie Tax Park going to be a Bravo. And this is what Park it looks like up the wing. So you've got a pretty steep bank going here. Jet and blue 1148, boss. Turn on to our departure heading. Uh, we're going to be at Delta Gates. Jet blue 1148 taxi D gates via Bravo Charlie 6 Charlie. Bravo Charlie 6 Charlie 1148. Piece of cake there. I was actually looking at the four Fox Rock Gulf Rider contact contact departure. Go to departure, four Fox Gulf. Five off duty flight eight zero two zero one eight proceed direct shaft. Yeah, I was I was looking at the buildings that I was just driving by today and went right past my heading but whoopsie. whoopsie. Uh five nine five four whiskey Los Angeles Center the San Diego Altimeter nine nine eight. SoCal departure, Archer 444, Foxtrot Gulf, climbing through 1300. 444, Foxtrot Gulf, SoCal departure, cancel out to restriction, resume on navigation. Resuming on navigation, 4 Fox Gulf. Okay. This thing turned down. No, it just turns off. All right. So here we go. Let's get this thing trimmed out. So the main thing that I wanted to work on that I had trouble the last time was just the sensation of the plane coming into landing on short, short final. Um, it's really, you know, if, if you the simulator does not sh do a good job of representing the sensation of, of flight. There's no G's, there's no, you know, there's very little sensation of speed and movement. So when you're, when you're coming into land and your, your approach speed, <coughs> excuse me, is 65 knots, and you come in at 65 knots, you you know you just kind of look at the at the airspeed indicator and hold that speed and bring it down. So you're really just kind of looking at the number and you know you're on the glide slope and it looks okay. But what it does not add is the sensation, and if you're uncomfortable with that or not used to it, it's unnerving. And I am I will happily admit that it is unnerving to me coming in on that short final at 65 and you know the cfi says pull the power it's it's crazy i wish that was a mimosa by the way but it is just orange juice it could be a mimosa i do have champagne but, um, i did not yeah just orange juice <laughs> that's a good idea though that's a really good idea okay so I wanted to do slow flight. And since we were going out to the practice area, we just did a bunch of maneuvers. And they were super, it was super interesting and really helpful. So I'm, I'm really glad we did it, even though it's, it's, it's not as cool to just fly around in circles and then come back flight-wise. Like I, the idea of flying somewhere and then coming back is definitely the you know sexier flight kind of what aviation's about. It's a little bit weird to just to take off and go somewhere close and come back, but I am over that now. Like, I love air work. This was super, super fun. Um, I'm going to actually put this gear up and just I want to get over there quicker. We're going, like, way too slow anxious to do all this stuff um, so the the sensation and just knowing telling my I, I needed to experience the plane going that slow so when I'm looking at that airspeed indicator and you know I've been looking at it at you know 100 knots all day long and then now we come into land all of a sudden it's got to be at 65 and you know it going down um, I needed that experience of feeling what the plane feels like at that speed and I felt like that would help 
my landings and approaches a lot. So once we get over here to the practice area, uh, we're just kind of like right in this, right in this area right here. Departure frequency 125.2, squawk 6130. This looks exactly, exactly the same. That that never gets old. Going on a your real world flight, coming back and looking in the sim and just going, "Yep, that's exactly what it looks like." Holy crap! That is awesome. Okay. So, black belt. To answer your question, and if. It, you know, high wing, anyone that knows better than I do, feel free to jump in and chat there as well. But this was a lot of what I focused on yesterday. And it is the, uh, I mean, it's not even a bank angle indicator. It's it's the turn coordinator is, I think, the official uh, term for it. So slow, slow it down a little bit here. If so if, if we zoom in on this... Turn coordinator, two minutes. No pitch information. So right now we're in coordinated flight. The little ball is right in the middle. And in fact, let me, I could zoom in here and go like that. So now we have, now we have that in there. Okay. So standard rate turn was something that I had heard and just didn't really focus on because when you're in a sim situation, these kind of maneuvers can be painfully boring. So what we need to do is get whichever direction you're turning on the wing onto this bottom line. And no matter what speed you're going, if you hold your wing on that line and keep this ball in the middle, you will do 360 uh, degrees in two minutes. So we can just put the heading bug right here, yeah, and 090. Nine zero. Let's go to the 86. right and get it. Hold, hold the power here, doing about 110, and get the get it banked over here, and start a timer. United 1995, Los Angeles Center, San Diego, out to the rear, 200 meter eight. So this will take two minutes for us to go back over to 090. We just hold this right there. Now, what what the the sim is not doing right now is it's showing this ball is right in the middle. You can see right here. That is pretty much right in the middle, a little bit to the right. But we've got we've got this looking good. So that's. That's pretty nice right there. And we're just kind of holding 3,900. There's no vertical speed. So I have this right now set up perfectly. And I will tell you that it is not this easy to hold this turn at that perfect so rate, with that in the middle, with, without climbing or um, descending. That's what's going to screw up your your altitude or your uh, airspeed is if you climb or descend. You got the power set. So coming almost there, about 90 degrees away. And this, if you didn't have any rudder in, this ball would be more to the right. It'd be it'd be a little bit more over here, and you'd need right rudder to to get that out. So it's a little bit to the left. Now if I go if I go right rudder, that should start to come over to the left. You're still faster than me, I, you know, Nope, it's going the other way. There we go. There's the right rudder. Okay, and then we roll out into our heading, and that should have been two minutes. I can, I can go back and time, time myself on there. What's up, Zerg? <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, no kidding. Um, so that was that was a a flight characteristic of the plane that it does not translate to the oh, no, the you sim. Have to via Let's get the uh, restriction. So you just pull the, the throttle. You're good. Let's get the gear down here. Get a little bit more realistic air speeds to what I was doing. Coto de Casa golf course. All right. So, so the turn coordinator was the biggest, um, the biggest thing that I hadn't experienced before in terms of instruments. And getting that ball in the middle and staying coordinated takes a lot of right rudder sometimes. So that. Like right there, I mean, that's a little bit more than standard rate. But it doesn't matter what speed you're going. As long as you get your wing on that line right there, it'll take two minutes to do 360. So we can, now let's do one here. Let's get the heading bug set again here. So we're 240. And bank to the left. Okay, so there's bank to the left. Keep the nose up, a little bit of back pressure on the yoke. I don't know why I'm picking 2900, but I am. So there's... Alaska 1958 contact, so cut approach, 119.6. Tending a little bit. Five, four, whiskey contact, a little so bit cover more power since we have the gear down on this one. Okay, so that one's that's a little bit faster, a little bit too fast. Okay, now the ball is creeping back so to the right. Pressure. So give it left rudder. A little bit more. Four five shot golf rudder service terminates buck VFR for exchange approved. Bucking VFR, frequency change appears, four fox golf. Last one nineteen fifty eight, so Cal approach the uh, uh San Diego altimeter two nine nine or eight, spec this approach one two seven. Okay, so that's the second time that that's happened. That is weird. What is? Point five nine five four whiskey so caliper. I gave you the wrong frequency. One two four point three five. Just a little random engine out. I couldn't see any. Couldn't see what was going on here. Everything looked like it was in the green. Unless someone's watching that uh that's messing with me. It could that could be the case. And high wing, uh, sorry I'm not uh, uh, I haven't been looking at the chat. Uh, I will go back and, and reread that. But trying to focus on this. Okay, so Now that we've got power, let's climb and get out of here. You know, the, the other thing, um, the CFI took controls a couple times as well. And he just kind of grabs grabs it and, you know, if we're in part throttle, he just grabs it, jams it forward and climbs out and gets to that VY. Okay, you know, where's, where's that climb out? There's VY right there, 75. You know, and just kind of manhandles it, and I've been so ginger with, you know, gingerly pushing the throttle forward, like kind of easing it up, and um, it was good to, to see him handle the plane as well. Like, it's not going to break, it's, you know, just jam the throttle forward. Obviously not, like, recklessly, but you don't have to treat it like I treat my car, which is, you know, like, shifting with my fingertips. So that was um, standard rate turn, which I thought was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So then we did slow flight. So we're, we're within the white arc now. Let's go full mixture. 
and let's go full flaps. There's full flaps. Gear down. And let's see how this thing handles compared to what I did yesterday. trim to help us out. Okay. All right. So we were at 50 knots. So let's pull the power back. Yeah, 1995 contact SoCal approach, 119.6. Let's see how this thing does at 50 knots. Five four whiskey, are you receiving a localized? Still coming down. Really not liking fifty. That's fifty five, and it is not liking it. Moving around a lot, yeah. So that's still like five or six knots. Faster. Yeah, 1994, uh, 1995 heavy SoCal approach. Expect better approach runway 27. It's not wanting to do much more than that. Or I should say, it's not wanting to do much less than that. Let's see if it can actually get to 50. Five-four whiskey Rogers to maintain 4,000. I'm full back on the yoke. Yeah, 1841 contact departure. We're dropping like a rock. It's not wanting to do it at all. Yeah, I'm full back. Yeah, the arrow is definitely going to be different. It's heavier. Um, 1941 SoCal departure, radar contact, Columbia Sid. And it's definitely nose, nose heavy. So that's a very good point, high wing. But 55 is about all, all it got to. Now we're full power, and let's let the power come out, slowly bring the flaps down, or up, I should say. And climb out, there's VY. But he, okay, so we're five knots faster in this plane before, and it really didn't want to do much less than that, but it kept flying at 55. And it's not what this does on short final in this um, in this plane, in the sim. When, when you pull the power all the way off, it falls like a rock and makes a really nasty sound, which we will go test once we get back to John Wayne. Uh, let's get back up to 3,000 here. Well, here's, so, it's so I'm climbing out, like, like pretty much wings out. level, and look at the ball. Nice it's still to the right. And, you know, you just need to have right rudder in there pretty consistently, especially when you're full power like this in a climb. You've got to be right rudder a little bit to keep keep that ball in there. I wait for a little bit. Um, I'm going to stick with the same guy for a little bit. I'm going to get a syllabus going. Um, he's been very cool and understands that I have advanced past some of the first few lesson type information. So little bit of a fast zero track, nine, which I appreciate for sure. Get that solo going. But I still would like to to go up with um, with your friends for sure. Even if it's just you know I don't I think it's it's always good to get a second opinion. So here I've I've got some right rudder in. I mean you can't see it. It doesn't really show on the model there. But got the ball in the middle there. We're climbing out, but I think it's because I have 
It's trimmed up so much. From it. Uh, 180 knots until Watch five mile flight. final. Um, and then steep turns. I've done steep turns before, but in a Cessna and, and this plane feels a little bit different. And, you know, just like holding that 45 degree bank. And this is really where uh, the sim does not do this maneuver justice. There's a 45 degree bank and you're, you know, looking straight down like that's that's fine, right? Slice in the horizon, no, not climbing at all, stuck at 4,000, dropping a little bit. But you're pulling some serious G's right here, and you do not get any of that sensation in the sim. So until you've felt what it's supposed to feel like, you might shy away from really pulling back on it and pulling those G's because you're not used to that sensation. When you're pulling back on that, that yoke and you got the back pressure and you got all those positive G's, you have to like, what, what I've had to do is remember that sensation and then try to That's match G's that. Like I understand what this should look like, but if you're if your body doesn't know what it feels like, it's hard to gauge because you're not going to be looking at the gauges all the time. Your your body is another gauge. I mean, it's like the seventh gauge. Negative. It was five thousand. So if uh, if I don't know what it feels like, and I'm looking out, looking at traffic, you know, looking out for traffic, looking at the the horizon, glancing down at the instruments, if if my body doesn't feel like we're in a in a steep bank, whether it's more G's than it should be or, or less. Um, I'm not going, I'll be able to feel that before I catch it here. Like I'll be able to, to make that correction without even having to look. Okay, so let's do it to the right. And you just split these two. It's the right in between those two hash lines is 45. Five nine five four whiskey contact lower tower one eight point three. Pretty steep. Let's go nineteen fifty eight airport uh, two and three o'clock. Losing a little bit miles. of altitude, but not bad. But you can see how when you're in a simulator and you can literally fly anywhere in the entire world and the gas is free. Five nine five four whiskey tower one eight point three. Doing this stuff is. It's hard to make yourself do this because it is not very interesting um, <laughs> compared to, you know, landing a Twin Otter at Lukla. So I really haven't practiced it much in the simulator as a result. So doing it in real life was fantastic. Gave me more appreciation for the plane Actually, uh, and for contact, what the maneuvers are supposed to do. Like here, here's a good one, like a, a climbing turn. So we're, we're going, what is that, 3, three one zero. So let's do a 90 degree turn. And we're at um, 20, 27. So let's let's turn yeah, 90 so degrees to the left so and go up to 3,000. So you get the power set. You go up to VY. Now correction, two nine or eight. Two nine or nine or eight. And you start start climbing and start turning. There's our altitude since we're gonna nose down. Then keep turning. Don't have to get both at the same time. Last 1958, you think you're behind there? So in the simulator, that's easy. You can see Last that ball. Now that I'm aware uh, of that, it's like always to the right. Six, sir, catch approach, catch flight, three, six, so you sir, really do need to, to have a lot of right rudder, even just straight flight. I mean, there's straight yeah, level, unaccelerated flight, 4, and I need, I need some good right rudder, some pressure on that rudder in order to keep Keep that ball in the middle there. Not something that I really ever paid attention to. So, 
Let's um, let's make our way back to John Wayne. That's about as much. Actually, I take the back. Let's do one more thing. Let's do let's do a couple of stalls. So let's do a power off stall. We're in the operating range of the flaps. First notch, second notch, third notch. Okay, let's hold this heading right here. Southwest zero two thirty four contact departure. Okay. Power off stall. This is gonna be a little bit tougher in the simulator, I think, so Alaska nineteen fifty eight flighting zero nine zero. Yeah, ten forty one correction, United eighteen forty one contact Los Angeles Center one three three point five five. It really doesn't want to do it, does it? Southwest four two thirty four Los Angeles Center climate team level correction Las Vegas Bar to Rare Contact. It's just dropping, it's not doing it. I'm full back. In 1995, flighting 270, airport 2 2 o'clock, 10 miles, port in sight. Full back. Get a little power, get the nose. Whiskey, flighting 090. Nose up. Yeah, 1995, Clippers Pro, 27. Last 1958, traffic 1 o'clock, 4 miles southbound, United 7, uh, Boeing 787, airport in sight. Guess we're gonna do a power on stall, so let's take out the flaps a little bit. Yeah, so it's not doing a power That's power off right. stall. So let's see if it'll do a power on stall up there. Gonna come on before. Okay, okay, so there's, there's, center, center, five, two, five, three, three, there's fifty-five. There's fifty okay, so the stall horn on the arrow comes on at fifty. And it's just on right now. Oh, and there it goes. So you obviously wouldn't let that thing sit on the stall horn like that, but I wanted to see how slow this thing would actually get before you had to get out of it. You definitely don't want to get into a spin that close to the ground. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this a little bit more properly. So the nose up. So I'll let it go. Whiskey, contact go power. And there's the airspeed coming back, and we're good. So that's pretty easy. All right, let's head back to John Wayne. Let me get. Yeah, Let's head back. Let's make sure that the weather has not changed. South 4234, Los Angeles Center, 133.55. Delta's. Delta's in there. And Dino, I have not heard of Trent Palmer. Okay. SoCal Approach, Archer 444, Foxshot Golf, inbound to Signal Peak for touch and goes at John Wayne. We've got information Delta. Archer 444, Foxshot Golf, uh, SoCal Approach, Squawk 6555, and I did for, for uh, Fox Golf. Alaska 1958, contact number tower 18.3. Man, it was such a gorgeous day to fly yesterday, too. My God. It was awesome. 1958, for tower, only 27 for the land. Caution wing turbulence following a uh, Boeing 787 on a one-mile mile. That sounds delicious, Highway. I need some 
I need some good fish and chips. And no better way to to get there than fly. Right. Altitude's okay. Man, this is so weird doing this in the sim after having just done it in real life. So uh, twenty two thirty four Los Angeles Center. Evening. Three, five, What's great is I sit tall enough in this plane that I don't ever need this for the sun. I like four point three operator contact five miles west of the uh, pressure east of single peak trap one o'clock two miles south but on two keys two thousand four hundred type but no. We'll keep an eye out for the traffic, four fox golf. I will guarantee you we're not gonna see him, but we'll keep an eye out for him. There's so much drone activity over by El Toro, which is closed. Grizz, it's it's the training has been fantastic. I've I've learned so much, um, and it's kind of funny. They're they're helping each other. Like what I learned in the real plane is helping me out in the simulator, which is a completely ridiculous notion. Um, and then of course the stuff that I'm, I'm learning in the simulator is helping in, in the real world as well. And there's there's a handful of gaps in there, which is what I'm focusing on closing um, as far as the real plane goes. Departure frequency one two five point two squawk one four seven two. But the the procedural stuff is what I am far more advanced on um, because of the simulator. So airport operations, knowing where to taxi, the radio stuff. He's like, you don't have to worry about the radios, obviously. Like, he thinks yeah, it's hilarious um, how comfortable I am on the radio. Like he, Every radio call I make, he just kind of chuckles and shakes his head. Like, Fox Golf, contact John Wayne Tower, Woman 9.9. Woman 9.9, for Fox Golf. Good day. See, why does it keep doing that? Arrow seven five five Alpha Juliet. Not good. Uh, make sure tower. Say that again. Did you cancel the IFR or are you still IFR? No, I canceled IFR and I'm now on a long downwind for uh, one of the three zero um, left. Air five Alpha Juliet Roger, runway three zero right. So yeah. I gotta figure out what I did wrong with that. Do I have all? If Goldsey is watching here and just keeps shutting my plane off, would not surprise me. That is weird. Everything's in the green. Everything looks good. And then it just conks out every once in a while. John Wayne Tower, Archer 444, Fox Truck Golf inbound to Signal Peak with information Delta for touch and goes. Archer 444, Fox Truck Golf, John Wayne Tower. It looks like you turned your transponder off. Just keep your transponder on when you come over to uh, the Charlie the yeah. Charlie Tower. Uh, enter left down runway 20 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option for 20 left for Fox Golf, and I had a little airplane malfunction there, so sorry about the transponder for Fox Golf. Air 4 Fox Truck Golf, no problem. Left close traffic, proof before mid for the down at each time. We'll report midfield on left closed traffic for Fox Golf. Alaska 1958, taxi to park in via Bravo Monitor Ground 123. So, yeah, Pilot Edge is just an unbelievable tool, and there's obviously a lot, a lot more to flying than just the radio stuff. Here in Southern California, it is a huge bonus to be able to comfortably make those radio calls. Um, it is a major, major advantage because that would be a very daunting thing to have to figure out um, while I'm learning everything else. And, you know, I mean, basically what my CFI and I have agreed on is that the, the procedural stuff that I have down, like the radio, like the taxiing, like the, uh, you know, the airport uh, facility kind of stuff, that you're... You know, and and the airplane as well. I mean, I know the airplane, um, 
as it's you know shut off of me three times here for whatever reason but um i know where everything is and you know what to pull and what to flip and what to whatever um so that we don't have to focus on he never has to say um you know trim the nose up a little bit and by the way the trim is right there and you move the wheel up like I, that stuff i know or you know turn the lights on or let's get the fuel pump on or any of that kind of stuff so i can focus solely on flying the airplane and the feel of it which is what I'm missing. So it's been a fantastic advantage to to have the simulator to get me up to speed on all of that stuff that it's able to. And that, that way I can focus on the sensation, the, the feel of the plane, which is stuff that you can't do in the simulator. The, the one thing when we were coming back that really surprised me this time is how exact I have been practicing the pattern here at John Wayne. It's a little bit different of a pattern. We had hardly no traffic yesterday. We had one plane on departure and that was really it. So in the pattern, you get a couple touch and goes. Excuse me. A couple touch and goes, there was nobody in the pattern. So we could do kind of a full base to final. Uh, we shortened it a little bit just to, to practice it kind of the correct way. And, man, it was awesome. It was so, so awesome at how exact the the scenery is on this scenery pack for John Wayne and the ortho. You know, it was just looking out the window, and it's exactly what I'm used to seeing. Um, you see Irvine is right here, I think. Maybe it's over here. It was pretty easy to, to spot. Maybe it's right here. I think about it. Yeah, this looks like UCI Irvine here. So we were asked to report over UCI. And then you basically aim for Fox this. Are you going to 2 left? Um, yes, 2 zero left, 4 Fox Golf. I was actually just... Uh, Lining up over you see Irvine. Okay, so I think he was he was expecting me to go direct. That's fine. Alright, so pattern altitude here is nine hundred feet. We're slowed down here. Yep, so you just aim for that guy, that building right there, which is actually there in real life as well. So here's, this is Dove Street right here, so that's that's our parking at the end of 20 right. And then here is MacArthur. Jamboree, this is Jamboree, and we're going to turn on to Jamboree where we just had brunch this morning at a little bit below pattern here. We already got cleared for the option. A little bit low, but it's not not the worst. Okay, so there is Jamboree heading out towards the hangars. And when we're a beam of the numbers, we're going to get the first notch of flaps in. So weird, I just freaking did this in real life, and it looks identical. Okay, so there's the first notch of flaps for a beam of the numbers. And we're going to... We basically just like split these two hangers right here. There's 75. So the speed the speed is good here. With the weather, looking for IFR Los Angeles. And we're gonna get out to a little bit f 
further here. It was really just kind of like a sight feel how close you're getting to these hangars. And like it's hard to tell in the sim because it's just the depth perception isn't quite there, but that looks up to right. And we're turning onto our base, which is going to be a really short base. And kind of as you're turning, this it doesn't Roger, disrupt Jim this plane at all. Los Angeles Airport, you get the second Archer, flaps in there. Transition, that's final climb via Sid and uh, seven three three one in the box. So here's kind of like where you back, you can kind of settle if there's no yeah, traffic uh, onto a base. But normally you would just kind of take out that base and go go downwind to final. And. We're going to wait on that second notch here for a second. Here's the, the uh, executive park that we're going to fly right over and intersect. And there's the second notch. Okay, now I'm going to do this exactly how I did it in the real plane. So hold 65. We're a little bit high. You'd be able to see the papi lights from here. You can't see them now. Pretty high. Uh, Virginia, Texas, parking via Alpha. Have a good day. Parking via Alpha. Good day. Bye, Alpha. Thanks for the help. Australia's there. JetBlue 542. Uh, Go for with, uh, white. Departure, First red would be coming in right about here. Uh, JetBlue 542. There's 65. Uh, your choice at this point. The, uh, the wind is Over the uh, numbers, 100 at 7. Kill the power. And um, normally run in 2 six And left, then but, rotate uh, right there. And that's where this plane is different because as you can see it just totally dies i'm sure i broke something there nope i don't want whatever that is i think i may have just broke it so hang on think think fix all okay and apply and unpause No, we're going to abort. San Bernardino ground, number 5954. We're going to abort. Uh, flight following to him, at least. <laughs> We've got... Is so they going to call sign 9594? No, uh, number 5954 <laughs> whiskey. The alarm is on, too. 5954 whiskey, San Bernardino ground, go ahead. Uh, sorry about the last flight. My plane, my uh, thing crashed. And flight following to him, at, please. Yeah, check right failed. Everything failed. So this guy gonna get his read back here. Joint Tower Archer 444 Foxshot Gulf, clear of 20 left at hotel. Request back taxi to 20 left. Hey, what's up, American Maid? Welcome. Or four Foxshot Gulf, uh, you want to uh, taxi back? Roger that. Taxi back to 20 left, four Fox Gulf. Or four Foxshot Gulf, from a 20 left, taxi via Charlie Kilo. Taxi via Charlie Kilo, 20 left, four Fox Gulf. <laughs> and I did not report the rejected takeoff. No, I was I was cleared for the option, so technically you don't have to. Um, I was gonna go around. So that that is a bummer because that that was that's the that's the flow that in the real plane. And again, high wing is correct that you know the the speeds are a little bit different. But it really shouldn't just drop out of the sky like that. Um. <laughs> yeah, the it's it, the weight should be the same. The weight is exactly the same as as the plane was in real life. You're at 1841 Los Angeles Center, Las Vegas, South Summit, two nine or eight three. So let's get this thing. Again.
little alarm still going off. All right, let's make sure this thing is not permanently broken. Alarm is still going off. Can you guys hear that alarm? I can barely hear it. It's like really, really faint. Okay, let's go to the computer. Let's figure it out. There we go. Okay. Joey Tower, 444 Foxtrot Golf. Holding short, runway two zero left at Kilo. Four Fox Track Golf, runway two zero left at Kilo, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, four Fox Golf. Clear for takeoff, two zero left, four Fox Golf. Make sure to read back all runway and taxi assignments. Okay. Right rudder. And I'm going to keep the right rudder in that rotation. I'm up still with right rudder. Climb out at VY. There's that 15 degree offset the pattern here. Going. We got a lot of buildings. We got to get up to 900 feet. So we got to hold that VY. Okay, so now let's do it the way the sim wants us to do it, which is not the way I just did it. Okay. Joey Tower, Archer 444, Fox Truck Golf, midfield left downwind for 2 0 left. Our 4 Fox Truck Golf, uh, correction, or 4. You were right. <laughs> okay, and let's get the first notch. Four X-ray First notch of flaps, a beam of the numbers, and start the descent. Four Fox Golf, from two zero left, put the option. Flip the option two zero left, four Fox Golf, and just head towards the and limp hangers. Limp hangers. Sorry, we had some engine troubles. Uh, yeah, request flight following to him at field near March. I feel you on the engine troubles, man. Four X-ray, so cut a departure radar contact, uh, fly heading. One three zero. Okay, so we did we did three touch and goes. Right about here. Five nine four five four whiskey. Got a liver clearance correction number new ground. Get that second notch of flaps uh, in. One three five turn. point four. Squawk six four seven one. But slow. One three five point four squawk six four seven one five four. able to see around corners is also kind of a bummer. Okay. So and let's five just five let's five add ground, five nine five for let's add five or alpha, six uh, GA hangers to knots to or the numbers. Whiskey, two, uh, so we're going to four, gonna come in instead alpha. of 65 we're going to come two in at 70. Alpha, so that was 4234 contact Denver Center 127.02.
See if we can float it in going a little bit faster. See if that likes it. From my experience, this thing has fallen out of the sky if you go idle power at any speed. Like, well, I mean reasonable at a reasonable approach speed. So there's 75. Let's try that. Numbers. Power idle and pull back. And yeah, float it a little bit. Lapse up. Power. Rotate. VY. So this is. 41 contact Las Vegas approach. 125. This is starting to fall down a little bit. So if I if I treat the controls exactly like the real plane, keeping in mind that this is an arrow, not an archer, but it does not act the same way on short final as it does in the real plane. Let's get back up to pattern altitude and do do one the way the sim wants us to do it. 1841 SoCal approach, sim via Kepler 6 arrival, Las Vegas, South 200, 2983, advise you what? Yikes. Ballooned it a little bit there. John Wayne Tower, Archer 444, Fox Truck Golf, midfield, left downwind, 20 right, full stop. 20 left, full stop. For Fox Truck Golf, only 20 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 20 left, for Fox Golf. Okay, so we should be a beam by our about now. Yeah, we're a little bit late on that. Let's start the descent, and we're going to be a little bit high. But we're going to try to make this landing a little bit better. as far as the sim is concerned. Somebody no tower to five nine five four whiskey. You would have been four. fine in the real plane, but the sim is not the real plane. A little bit we're a little slow. We're five nine five four whiskey San Bernardino Tower runway two four okay. cliff takeoff. Let's make our little two four mini five, nine, five, base Downwind to final turn here. With the second notch of flaps in. Again, the plane was fine putting in flaps in mid turn, which I had heard otherwise, but at least the Piper airframe didn't mind it at all. Coming with the views here. Zero four extra contact still approach, one two eight point one. Okay, we're gonna make this we're gonna make this one a nice one. Let's go full flaps. Pet right over the executive park parking lot right here. Got one zero four extra stack up approach cut. Okay, now let's turn on to final final. Or zero four extra clear direct to the beach cross to the beach four thousand. Four or five behind us. That is way less scary now that I've done it a couple times. Here's one light. Five four whiskey contact so got a parts for here. Keep part your five four whiskey. Two lights over the numbers so. Here's you turn, you'd kill the power right Seven here. Tower, Skyhawk, one, two, nine, Delta, go back but I'm just going to keep in the power. Full stop with information and in then there. transition and then slowly bring the power back. There you go. Five on a five for whiskey, so kind of parts right in contact. Other aircraft calls, stay again. And make it. Seven tower, See, Skyhawk, I can two, land nine, it Delta, nicely, back, it's just different. East, inbound for a full stop with information India. Scott, one, two, nine, Delta, Quebec, Sandless Tower, make straight in, runway two, nine, or cool land. 
Straight in runway 29 or clear land 129 or Delta Quebec. And Joey Tower 444 Fox Truck Golf, clear of 20 left at Juliet, ready to taxi back to Dove Street. Four Fox Rock Golf, taxi to Dove Street via uh, Alpha and Monitor Ground, 120.8. Have a good night. 120.8 via Alpha back to Dove Street. Have a great night. Thank you. Okay. Las Vegas Ground, Jeff Blue, 542, Terminal 3, ready to go. 27 left. Correction, uh, 26 left. Point. Jeff Blue, 542, stay again. Jeff Blue, 542, right. or Terminal 3, ready to taxi. 26 left. Again, we wouldn't be able to do this in real life. Um, I waved to my first commercial captain, so we got uh, um, we pulled off on Juliet. We got clearance to taxi down to the midfield run-up via Charlie. We both look at each other like, well, that's kind of weird. And then we just see this uh, southwest flight landing. We're like, okay, well, perfect timing. So they wanted us to wait for that guy at the midfield run-up. So we pulled off, waited for him, and he was hauling ass. He was taxiing like I usually do um, down Alpha, just right here, right on this little S turn. We were just waiting right here. I waved to the guy. He waved back. And I thought that was pretty sweet. I didn't think I'd have a commercial airline captain waving to me in a plane that I was piloting. So that was that was pretty cool. It was a little bit warm, so having that open was, that felt really nice. And thank you, Darkin. That was better than the, the mimicked real world procedure ones. So that's, uh, I don't, I don't like that it's not exactly the same, at least like functionally. So, uh, you know, when you're on that short, short final over the numbers and you pull the power back, you you know you still have forward momentum you're still in a nose down slight attitude and then right when you're coming to the ground that's when you do that transition and you know you get that back pressure on the yoke and nose goes up a little bit airspeed comes way down and you're touching down right as that stall horn is going on and i'll have to do a little bit more research on this on the just flight uh, arrow to see really where those approach speeds are because um, they they might just be so much higher that uh, it's not able to mimic even close to the same speeds so even like 70 knots pulling the power back it gets really pissed so that might be the case but if, either way if you if you're not at, you know, Stallhorn warning zone, it shouldn't fall out of the sky like that. There was no Stallhorn, it, it just crashed right down. And sorry, citation, but you are parked in my spot. How much are we clipped in that guy? Had worse park jobs. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. So that is that is a debrief of lesson number two. So air work, turn coordinator. You know, really, really looking at this guy and keeping that ball in the middle and those standard turn rates. Um, you know, is, it was a new concept that I'm really happy I got some some time learning and focusing on that. So keeping that little ball in the middle is going to be huge. And, you know, just the sensations of the turns and the, the pattern work and just really getting that down. And I had a couple of really, really nice landings, which feels awesome. Um, it feels good when you, when you nail it in the sim, but... Man, when you're in the real plane and you put it down and your CFI goes nice, that that's a very good feeling. So I want to keep doing that as much as possible. Let's see what this final one looked like.
Yeah, so the 405, that doesn't bother me anymore. The first time I did it, that was, holy crap, scared the hell out of me. So this time, um, the last flight I did, I did that short approach over here, so I didn't even go over the 405, but... All right, so... Nose down, nose down. Little ground effect. Power off. Transition. Touchdown. That was sweet. And there goes the nose. <laughs> yeah, that was that's actually one of my better my better landings in this thing. A little bit of ground effect there. Powered back. Touchdown. Nice. Center line. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. So that is going to do it for my debrief. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, I try to do as many of these as possible. So I would definitely appreciate the, the support there. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.